last resort. We wish you an enjoyable stay. Thank you, lovely. Yes, here we are on the Games Master Oil Rig again. The salty spray licking against our legs with nothing but our protective hoods for comfort. But we can all take warmth and cuddliness from the man who sets the challenges, the Games Master. Greetings and welcome on board the Games platform, especially to those of you who are staying offshore for the first time. I do hope you're not feeling too homesick. And talking of sick, I trust you haven't already eaten because my first challenge is quite likely to bring it straight back up. You must complete lesson two of the skydiving course on pilot wings. After being dropped from a considerable height, you must control your descent so that you fall through a series of hoops before negotiating your final approach to the landing pad. As a concession, you will be allowed a parachute. One tip, don't leave it too late to pull the ripcord. Best of luck. Now, for these particularly tricky aerial hijinks, we've brought in a brother-sister combo. Please welcome Emily and Michael Gleave. <laughs> welcome, Emily. Welcome, Michael. Now, Emily, why is it that more boys play video games than girls? Because girls have got more sense than to waste their money on computer games. You're not supposed to say that on this What's program. What's the <gasps> Now, Michael, what are your friends going to say if your sister beats you? I don't know, but they're going to cuss me. They're going to cuss you? Yeah. I don't think we did that up in Scotland. Oh. Uh, no, never mind, Michael. Right, well, we wish you all the best of luck, OK? I think, Emily, if you'd like to go first, and, uh, Michael, if you'd like to just linger behind your sister in your lovely colourful top there, we'll get ready to play. And joining me for a spot of commentary is Frank O'Connor from Super Action. Welcome, Frank. Pleased to see you again, Dominic. All right, Frank, now, We've got two buoyant competitors here. Do they need any tips from us? Take it gently. Slow, gentle movements is the key. And uh, watch out when you get closer to the ground. Definitely. All right. All right, then. Just to reiterate the challenge, both our competitors have one skydiving attempt to register the most points possible. Emily, are you ready? Yes, Dominic. Then off you go. Okay, now here we see Emily dropping you. Here's the first of these rings, Frank. Yeah, I mean, one technique is just to stay where you are and hopefully go through as many rings as possible, but uh, if, she, if she uses slight tilts and uh, bends, she can get through all the hoops. Okay, she's passed one ring, she's through the second ring. Yeah, she's come through the third ring. Now, the next one should be in a slightly harder position. There it is. That's it. Just that, there's a the slow, gentle movement she was yeah, talking about. Yeah, she's going to have to tilt up. She's done it, yeah. Nice one, four rings. This one more Looks ring. Like she's going to get the fifth. Well done. Oh, lovely, lovely. She was diving a little bit there. Do you, how, how much control do you have over your man? You can, you can get him to go roughly where you want, but it takes a very long time. OK, then, we saw the screen prompt push it open. The parachute is now open. Now, she's got to try and get to the, that bit in the middle. How, how well is she doing? She's doing reasonably well. I wouldn't have opened the parachute as quickly as that, but she's going to be OK, I think, if she's just careful. OK, she looks like she's going to out the wrong way. Yeah, it's one of the techniques is just to swing back around at the last minute and then you'll come in really quickly on the right. target. And I think that's what she's going for. OK, so here we go, Emily. She's only 240, 30 feet off the ground. She's descending quite rapidly. I hope she hasn't... I don't know what she's doing here. It's going to be she's... a very, very late swing indeed here. No, I think she's doing it quite just about right. If she turns now, she should land straight on the target. Oh, this is a nice one. Is she going... Oh, no, she might land in the water. Oh, no, she's done it. Great landing, but perhaps could have landed in a higher point scoring ring there. But let's see Emily's points. Emily has a total score of 70 points. <laughs> Emily, would you like to make way for Michael now? Michael, are you ready? Yeah. Then off you go. Here he's falling down towards the first of these rings. He's staying nice and still. Yeah, it's the best policy to begin with. Just uh, get a nice rate of descent and keep in the center. And he's through the first ring. Here he comes down to the second. And he's through the second ring with relative ease. This is looking good. He's going to have to turn for the fourth ring, though, and that's the tricky part. Okay, he's managed he's that there. quite well, yeah. 
Diving a little bit here, Frank. Oh, he's correcting himself, though. Oh, just, just missed, swung past just it. He's missed. trying to get around. Oh, no, he's just with the fifth one. But he can still make the point up if he hits the target, if Frank. He has, if he hits the target dead on centre, he can quite easily beat that score. But if not, it could all end in tears. OK, here he comes. He's got a rate of descent too great. He's going to slow it down a bit. How, can he slow it down in any way? He can slow it down a little by just sort of drifting in the direction he's going. But if he yeah. pulls down, he falls faster, which he right. seems to be doing at the moment, which is a bad move at this point. OK, here he comes. He's got to watch. He's running out of altitude here. Oh, he's running out of altitude now. But he might just make it into the centre there. This is going to be close. He's going towards the centre. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? He's down in the centre. He's done it. He's got there. He's got there. He's just drifting off. Oh! Just went over the main point rings there. Oh, it was very, very close there. He didn't quite be Emily scoring got 59 points, which means Emily is tonight's winner. <laughs>close contest that was. Michael, there was only 11 points in it. It was very, very close. Where did you maybe miss those couple of vital points? I thought I was going to win, but the wind blew me up a couple of the wings, so I was a bit unlucky. You were a bit unlucky. Are you going to have a rematch when you get home? No, we don't have a Super Nintendo. Well, you may not have a Super Nintendo, but tonight, Emily Glebe is the winner of the Games Master Golden Joystick. <laughs>
In the runner-up spot, the Sega TV Tuner. This slots into your Game Gear's rear, and if you liberally extend the aerial and have a precocious fiddle, you should get rampant television satisfaction, meaning you need never miss those Open University double bills again. But in the premier position, youthful yuppies give a hearty hurrah for the Workboy, an amazingly educated contraption which turns your monochrome mate into a Firefax extraordinaire, with everything from a calculator to a database for all those irritating facts. The Workboy will be launched in what is possibly the biggest gaming accessory of them all, Games Master Live, a three-day exhibition at the Birmingham NEC on the 4th, 5th and 6th of December. To book, ring the Birmingham NEC on 021 780 4133. Don't forget to mention if you're in the Games Master Club because we've got special rates for all members. So, a bumper bag of goodies there tonight. Well, the helicopter's arrived, replete with supplies and tonight's famous bloke. So, for the celebrity challenge, let's go over to Games Master. I think we're going to have a lot of fun on this next escapade. The game is Dyna Blaster. Five little men run around dropping bombs and trying to blow each other up. You should be aware that the number of bombs that can be dropped at any one time and their firepower can be increased by collecting icons along the way. Let's hope you've got what it takes. So, a five-man gaming orgy awaits us, and I'm very pleased indeed to welcome five of the swoonsome stars of music. Gary, Mark, Robbie, Howard and Jason, take that! <laughs> Good to see you. All right, Hannah. All right, Mark. All right, Gary. All right. Okay. Right, boys. Now, I know that all of you is like a little waggle now and again, but come clean. Who is the best games player in Take That? Definitely me. No, Obviously definitely me. me. It's me. It's me. It is me. It's well, it's funny, Robbie, because I actually read that you can beat Danny Minogue's high score on Tetris. Isn't this true? Uh, she doesn't find it funny, but it's the truth. But it's the truth. <laughs> okay, well, if you at home want to find out who is the winner out of all of Take That, join us after the break. <laughs> Welcome back, and you've joined us at a very tense moment indeed. We have all five members of Take That here about to attempt Bomberman. Now, they all seem like really good mates in real life, but at the end of this game, there's only going to be one of them standing. With me in the commentary box is Sega Pro's very own golden boy, Dave Perry. Welcome, Dave. All right, Tommy. Now, Dave, any tips you can give the boys for this game? It's very, very simple. Um, mainly, you know, don't get trapped in corners, and uh, use a lot of thought. Game takes a lot of thought. Okay, then. Right, lads, are you ready? Okay then, off you go. Okay, quickly for the audience, Robbie is white, Gary is green, Mark is red, Howard is blue and Jason is black. Basically, the initial, the initial idea of the game is you press your fire button, it drops a bomb, that bomb then blows away the piece of wall that it's neck adjacent to, or the player if a player gets in the way. Okay, so you've got to keep out the way of the bombs. Often when you blow away the pieces of the wall, you'll find some power-ups, like those. they look like big blue cherries, you pick those up, the more the bomb, the blue bombs you pick up, oh, the more dear. bombs you can lay. Oh, we've uh, just lost one of the tick, that, green, that was green. Green Ken's That's gone already. Gary. Oh, Gary's gone Smith. already. The lead singer's gone. Okay, we're just laying bombs there. We've still got four to take that in. We're laying playing... bombs a little bit mindlessly at the moment, aren't we? Not really Maybe they're playing for power-ups here, go. Dave. That little flame power-up that White Ken's just gone for, uh -huh. that makes his bombs twice as powerful. That's Robbie, my favourite, who I went for at the start. Oh, Blue oh no, Ken's gone. gone. Blue has gone. gone. That's Howard. Howard is out of this game. So it's now gone. we've just got Robbie, Mark and Jason left. Right, right. oh no, it's going to be Oh no, no. no. He got red, red Ken. Mark is gone. Safe. Now it's a stalking game. Robbie and Jason. It's a stalking game now. It's all about thinking and trapping your opponent. This is getting very tense here. The crowd's going oh, he's oh, he's 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 oh, yes. So I Jason's dead and Robbie is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now listen, that was some game. Before we go on to the winners, I must have a quick word with Gary. Now listen, Gary, what happened? I mean, for a while I thought there was only four members to take that. Oh, listen, I just don't like the game, you know how it is, <laughs> Now, Robbie, I tip you to win. You know the prize you're getting. What, what does it mean to you to win the Games Master Golden Joystick? I just, I can't sum it up in words. <laughs> I, I'm getting so emotional now. There's so many people that I want to thank, but now, most of all, I want to thank my parents. Oh. This is for you. <laughs> Okay, well, let's move on to the presentation and let's have a big round of applause 
for Robbie who's won the Games Master Golden Joystick! <laughs> Okay, let's have another big round of applause for today's guest. Take that! Okay, after that hectic action, here's everybody's favourite agony uncle with a tip or two in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the helipad. How can I help you? I'm finding Thunder Force 3 very difficult. Is there any way you can make it easier for me? There certainly is. During play, pause the game, then press the following combination on your control pad. Up ten times, B twice, down twice, B six times, and A once. Now, when you unpause the game, you'll be equipped with the full arsenal of weapons. Thank you. Glad to be of service. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. I'm finding the Adams family very difficult. I'm wondering if there's any tips to make it easier. Try entering the password 111111 at the start of the game, and you'll begin with 100 lives. If you can't complete the game now, there's little hope for you. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. On James Bond 2, Robocard, I've heard there's a cheat for infinite lives. Could you tell me what it is, please? Of course. I'm rather partial to this one. From the start, go right and enter the first door that you come across. Once you're inside, go to your right. And just after the second set of spikes, you will see five objects. Collect the object in the following order. First the lips. Then the ice cream. Then the violin. then the Earth, and finally, the snowman. You will notice that the first letters of these objects spell the word lives. You now have an infinite amount of them. Thank you. That rounds off tonight's tater tates. But if you need assistance, you know who to ask. So, after that veritable bevy of tips, it's time for tonight's final game for it. And it's the third of our special curly challenges. What can I say about this man? In his hands, a joystick is a weapon. The undefeated Sega champion, Danny Curley! Well, Danny. Now, now, Danny, last week, Warren Brazier held you to a draw. So how confident do you feel this week? Well, my luck, my luck's going to run out one day. OK, well, we'll see if it's tonight. So, if anybody fancies the chance at any Sega game, please put your hands up now! OK, let me see, um, um... Where is it, um... Oh, yes, the guy there with a lovely purple maroony top on. If you'd like to come on down, sir, give a round of applause for tonight's challenger! Okay, so what's your name? Jeff Gallias. Jeff Gallias. So what's the challenge for Curly tonight? It's Arch Rivals. Arch Rivals? Oh, Curly. So Arch Rivals, a uh, bit of a basketball game there. Are you confident? Well, I've played a couple of other basketball simulators, but not this one. Okay, well, it could be a very interesting competition. If you'd like to sit yourself down, gents, we'll get ready to play. And joining me in the commentary position tonight is Dave Rimshot Perry. Welcome, Dave. All right. OK, now, how do you rate this game? Well, what's the general tactics they've got to use? It's to be played dirty, it's to hit, to lunge, to, to do whatever you can to get the ball in the net. It's good fun. OK, so it's the first of 20 points. Are our two competitors ready? Then start the tip-off. OK, so actually, Danny's in the blue playing from right to left and Jeff is in the red playing from left to right. Oh, my word! What a Instant. shot! Was that three points? The crowd have got their own particular favourites here, Dave. Some of them are chatting for Conley, the others are chatting for Jeff. There's another one. Beautiful slam. Beautiful slam. Beautiful slam. 
from Jeff. So it's a first Jeff's to 20 up. points. Long shot there by Cody. Oh. Jeff's weaving about Jeff's here. Weaving. Tries a three-point shot. Ah, Lovely. Beautiful, straight in. 5-3 to Jeff. Jack Nicholson coaching that team, see, that's right. Oh, he's punched him back. a long one. That's oh. right. It's back. Conveniently it bounces up. back into play. Up. He's coming in, on, tries Danny. a long floating shot. Oh, and he's slammed it. 5 all. draws the level. Slammed it from about 30 feet out. <laughs> OK, so where uh, Jeff tries a long Jeff shot there. The long oh, round around the, the rim there. There's a rim shot. But he's got the rebound, tries it, and Beautiful. rebounds it. Beautiful again, Vinny. 8-5 to Jeff. Come on, Benny. Uh, Connor's got to get his punches in, Dave. There he goes. Oh, that's yes, another yes. one in for Jeff. Got to remember, there's no point in trying to play this for skill. You've got to hit out. That's right. It's 10-5 and it's the first of 20. So Connor's got to get his skates in. Beautiful long ball. Oh, he's trying to sit. He's, he's trying a long, long one. It's still a two-pointer. Oh, it's in there. 10-7. I mean, this game might be won by two pointers. You know, the three pointers don't always go in. That's right. It's because yeah, it's not nice enough to get a lot of points. For nothing, smacking his own players. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he tried to dive, but he missed it there. He's all over the place. Twelve seven to Jeff. Twelve seven. Here we go. Oh, Gang up on him. Two Once once again, nice and close. Get this two pointer in. Oh, oh yes, it's in there. Beautiful. So he tried to block the shot, but that's actually pushed tough. it into the basket. That's right. So it's quite tough to get it right. Work oh, he's tried an old day. Oh, beautiful. And beautiful very, very audacious three-pointer shot from say. Jeff. He's got to keep the ball off Jeff now because he's got to go. He's sent no, the three-pointer. Three oh, oh, unlucky there. But he's got it back. He tried again. another three-pointer. Yes. And it's in now. Yes. 15-12 to Jeff. No time for fitness. Oh no, diving lunge didn't quite work. Another diving lunge in his own player. Oh, and it's in now. 18-12, one more score, one more score, and Jeff's oh, won the match. That's hopeful. And Collins hopeful, but he can get a rebound. rebound. How's he going to get it? Get in there for the rebound. There you go. Rebound. Get that one. Side another three-pointer. Oh Beautiful. yes, 18-15. Yeah, He's tried a long that's shot. It's going to be a waste. Manchester but he might kiss. A, it's a Manchester kiss. He might get a rebound. Beautiful. He's got a rebound. Yes. 18-17, this is tight. 18-17, point just needs a three-pointer to win. And Jeff needs a two-pointer. Here comes Jeff now. He's passed the back. He's playing possession. He's making sure he can... Here oh, comes Jeff, he can't shoot. That should be in. He's yes. yes! Yes, it's Jeff. Jeff has been Curtis He's been beaten. He's been beaten. Unbelievable. So, thank you, thank you. So, commiserations, Daniel. You said it had to happen sooner or later. Yeah, it was a close match, but at the end of the day, he won. Oh, well, bad luck, Daniel. Now, Jeff, congratulations. You've beaten the great man himself. What was, what was the difference between you two at the, on the end of the day? Uh, planning. I had to choose a game that I didn't think he'd played before and I had, obviously. <laughs> All right, well, Jeff, not only do you have the prestige of beating young Daniel, you are also the winner of the ultimate gaming accessory, the Games Master Golden Joystick! <laughs> Here we are, Jeff. OK, so a round of applause for our Gavin Lisa Conley and tonight's winner, Jeff! <laughs> well, that's the dinner gong, which means it's supper time here on the holiday camp. My appetite's been whetted by Auntie Marisha's red snapper. Yours can be whetted by the prospect of two World Wrestling Federation legends on next week's show. British Bulldog will be here and he'll be joined by her suit wrestler extraordinaire, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who'll be taking on all comers on this very platform. So, don't miss next week's show. Good night.